Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to create a get ready, I guess get ready with me video. Um, I just got through taking a shower, my hair is wet. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my makeup while my hair is drying and yeah you guys let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna do my skincare i'm gonna tell you what i'm putting on but i'm not gonna go through every step of this um because the video will be just way too long i'm trying to make it as short as i can you guys so i'm gonna use my copper tone defend and care face oil free 30 of 30 okay i'm gonna use it then I'm going to use my Bolero Hydrating Facial Gel Hydrator Watermelon and Aloe. I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to use my um, Hard Candy by Marilyn Monroe uh, Starlet Glow Strawberry Face Serum. I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to use my uh, Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix underneath my eyes. So that's my skincare, you guys. And then after that, I will be applying one more product. I will be applying Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer Stick, this right here. So that's okay, you guys. So now it's time for foundation and. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It's medium to full coverage and I like this one. I like this one over the matte version or the first version. I feel like it was a little bit, it just didn't work with my skin. That's all I'm going to say. But this one I'm loving. However, it's not the proper shade. I should have went up one shade. It's in 9.5, ELF 9.5. And then I'm going to mix this foundation with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix um, Concealer in Deep Dark. I'm going to mix these two together so that I can have the perfect match for my skin. Um, concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. Um, this one is in um, Cool 9. And so this is a little bright, but it brightens up, and so I have that uh, bright highlighting look. So yeah, you guys, that's what I'm gonna use now. So and there's one product I need to grab real quick. I didn't grab none of my powders. Hold on for a second. Okay, I got everything in different departments now, and I got everything kind of organized. So, okay, real quickly, I'll let y'all take a look at it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add on the concealer first, okay? Okay, this is the Revolution, Makeup Revolution Fast Base Concealer. Um, yeah, C9. So... I'm going to put just a little bit because this really does highlight, as you can tell. Like, that's really highlighting. Y'all, I'm trying to keep my eye on the camera focused so, because I'm on a new camera and I'm trying it out today. Um, but I'm adding some of this on my chin and up here on my forehead. And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try to blend it. Now I'm going to blend it out first and then put on my foundation and I don't know how this is going to work I just thought I would try it today why not so I'm going to take my it's time for a new brush I don't need to use that brush again I'm going to use my um, ELF uh, sculpting face brush this one I've used long enough so I'm going to put that one over there on that side and I'm going to blend all the concealer in onto my skin okay just like that and I know it's very brightening I could have like yeah I was just trying to guess I was in a rush but honestly it's gonna all come together once I put on my foundation and blend everything together actually I like it because it really does highlight does the highlighting thing so yeah y'all I'm gonna finish Okay, so now it's time for the foundation. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation in ELF 9.5. 
and it's totally the wrong shade but it's not too bad it's what it looks like but I make it work it's not too bad it's yellow toned see if you look at my concealer you can tell my concealer is just a little bit way too off but y'all this is going to all come together I use this concealer on a regular basis and this foundation and I make it work that's what I do and just dabbing on the foundation because you really don't need much of this just saying and I put a little extra on my problem areas like up here where I need to exfoliate my forehead so if you see that it's rough up there yeah it's time to exfoliate now what I do is I take the concealer Conceal and Fix by Makeup Revolution Deep Dark and I put a little few dabs on so when I blend out the foundation it just works perfectly into my skin it works perfectly as a match so and then this also adds a little alright you guys so the foundation is on my foundations and my concealer is on so now what I do is I go ahead and finish using any cream products um, so and then I will set my under eyes next and powder my face uh, so the two cream products um, well actually three cream products that I need to use is actually my uh, Heart Candy Highlight and Contour Face Duo Stick. Uh, this is the contour stick and I haven't even used the highlight yet. Y'all keep forgetting. Um, but I'm going to use this first to bronze my cheeks. And then I go back in, and I may not, sometimes I do if I want a deeper, like, bronze type of um, cheek look, just to, like, sculpt my cheeks real good. I go in with the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer in Truffle, okay? And then I need to use my ELF 16-Hour Camo Concealer on my eyelids to... Uh, get, prep my eyelids for eyeshadow so basically I'll show y'all okay and then I'm gonna blend it all together or blend it off camera okay just put a little bit on my eyelids there and I'm gonna blend that out then I go in with the hard candy highlight and contour stick the bronzer side this is in medium and I just put this all over my cheeks just like that just like that. That's just the way I do it. Been doing it for a while. So this is nothing new. Something I've been doing and I like it. And uh, occasionally I'll use it under here. And I think I will because the other bronzer is a little. It's more for just sculpting. Okay. And then. Yeah. And what I do with this is I basically put. This is how everything is looking so far so now I'm going to I think I'm going to intensify my bronzer so I will be using the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer that I told you about a minute ago this is in truffle and what I do is I just add a few dots like this about I think about two dots is enough I've been putting three but I think two is enough. And I put it on the back portions of my cheek. And then I put a dot here. And y'all excuse the hair. Like my hair is growing. And I'm not going to shave it off. Because I think actually that's just where I've had some hair loss I think. So yeah. But then again I never had hair growing on my forehead like this. So if y'all just overlook it. I'm just going to see what everything's going to be because I'm taking vitamin uh, vitamin E supplement and I'm noticing all of that and I'm just going to go with the flow and see what all happens what, what, what's, what it's going to look like after taking my supplement but anyways I'm going to blend this in on the back portion of my cheeks add some color in here okay and just blend it y'all know how it goes just blend it on out so I'm going to blend this on out you guys smooth it on out so as you can see here 
Yes, and I will fix up my... Alright, so now it's time for my powder products, you guys, to go ahead and mattify my skin and all that, all these creams. So basically, you guys, I have three powders here. I have two from the CoverGirl brand. They are the True Blend Minerals. I have one in banana here, which is going to go underneath my eyes to... Um, set my concealer and brighten my under eye and maybe on my forehead and my chin I don't know we'll see and then I have the shade 400 tan as well and that's what I'm going to use as my contour or bronzing shade and then I use the makeup revolution luxury banana powder all over my face I feel that it matches my skin complexion very well so I'm going to use that all over so that's exactly what I'm going to do is use these you guys so I'll just give a little demonstration and so yeah okay so I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals uh, Banana Powder okay and you can use your puff if you want to if you're going to use it all over some people use this actual banana powder all over the face and you can um, if it looks good to you then fine like I think that the makeup revolution kind goes good with my skin but I'm just going to use this right directly underneath my eyes everywhere I want to highlight and you're going to see how bright look at that you can see it from here to over here on this side so this is very brightening and I find it to be a very good luxury product in the drugstore that I think a lot of people don't talk about. Um, I got the bronzer shade in 400 and it's amazing too. This powder kind of smooths out lines. It really does a little bit. I don't, I find that it doesn't like cake up as bad as other powders that I've used underneath my eyes and on my face so I'm just using this to brighten you guys now you get the idea of what I'm going to do with this powder and I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to try to show you everything that I'm about to do so you'll know what I'm about to do okay alright the next shade is the uh, 400 shade by CoverGirl it's the same brand as the banana powder and I'm going to use it to just go right over my cream bronzer and I just take like a fluffy brush or something and I need to get a new one now because I've used that one for a while so let me grab another brush that I can use just to go right over okay okay so now here we go so I just take a little bit because this is so good it's so smooth and easy to blend like look how easy because it's just a like a translucent light powder a mineral powder so yeah y'all get the idea just showing you what I'm doing what I'm about to do and I might intensify it I can keep going and going and going and intensify but y'all get the idea and then with the uh, Makeup Revolution powder here, I'm going to set my entire face with it. Like literally take some of this and I put it right in my hand here. And I need a brush. Y'all, why don't I think about these things before I get started creating videos? <laughs> okay we're gonna go with the flow though uh, I'm gonna use this brush here and I'm just gonna put some of this powder see how beautiful that's starting to look real smooth like if you look at my face you'll notice that right up in here is so smooth compared to this side here see here so much Alright you guys, so now I'm ready to do eyeshadows and I might pull y'all up a little closer, but I think I'm really close to the camera. I don't even think I need to do that. I'll find out once I edit. I'm trying to learn this camera. But anyways you guys, the palettes I'm going to use is the LA Colors 
uh, nude palette here this has got like a lot of transition shades so that's one reason why I like to use this palette another reason is because it really is a nice everyday palette if I just want to put something in the crease and just a little like some lashes or whatever I can okay but I want y'all to see this clean color pro bold palette here with all these bright vivid colors I'll be using a couple of shades of this into my crease and then uh, first starting out with the nude palette as a, a transition color and then I'm gonna use a, a shimmer tone type eyeshadow cream eyeshadow from covergirl this one here in number four that's what I'm gonna use however I'm going to begin because this is probably gonna be the longest part but I will cut it off at times when I feel like I'm going just a little bit too long we got to do the brows so this is the part where I will clip out real quick I'm gonna use the ill elf um, like brow gel I love this it keeps my brows in place and I show you I just go across my brows like this it doesn't take much just a little bit just like that and then what I do is I go back in with an eyeshadow okay I've been loving the L'Oreal infallible um, single eyeshadow here in Madison Avenue um, yeah so that's okay so now you guys I got my brows done once again with the ELF um, wax pencil and the L'Oreal uh, Paris single eyeshadow in Madison Avenue this one here so that's what I do with my brows lately so now we can move on to eyes now the first thing I'm gonna do is I feel like I'm close enough like this camera's right here like I feel like 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 look at that okay I know y'all can see me very good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hard candy highlight and contour stick face duo stick here again I'm gonna use the highlighter and I'm going to highlight right underneath my brows like this oh this is pretty kind of sculpt them y'all know so blend this out and I'm going to use a powder on top but this is like my base for my powder so just saying this will be nice on the eyelid too I think as a lid primer I'm just to brighten up my eyelid so I like this I've got to use it underneath my eyes because it's just like concealer of course it is it's a highlighting cream product so you can use it as a concealer but I haven't tried it like that yet but I will um Just blending that out and it blends very easily and it does brighten my brow bone very nicely I like that look at that you guys highlight it right okay so the next thing will be is the uh, LA colors nude eyeshadow palette here I'm gonna pick three shades that I normally go for all the time um, it's just a beautiful transition shade to begin with um, I usually go with this shade here this one here this one will go on my brow bone this is a shade one of the shade in to my crease and this shade right there right there and then I go in with this this shade here all into my crease okay except for the one shade that will go right on top of the cream product is a brow highlight I'm about to put that on right now just go ahead and highlight my brow bone okay just like that ok 
I think that's good enough. So now let's go in with these transition shades. I'm just going to show you a little bit and then I'm going to just clip it, okay? Because y'all get the idea. Don't want the video too long, so unless y'all suggest the video for me to just keep going with the flow, talk a little bit more, and not worry about trying to get everything done at a specific time. So you guys just let me know what y'all want, okay? All right, so I'm just blending this into my crease and really slightly above my crease and even up here next to my brow bone. That's just now it's time to use my Pro Palette. This is the Clean Color Pro Bold Palette. I love this palette. Got this at the Beauty Supply Store. It is one of my favorites. Um, I think because I'm going with this like number four shade, this sh shimmer shade, I really don't know what it looks like, but it kind of looks like a gold um, champagne color. It sort of looks that way. So I think I'm going to go with the like the orange tone in here to kind of go with that same sort of like, like I said, that gold look about that cream eyeshadow that I just showed y'all. <laughs> okay. We're going to go with this orange shade, okay? And I'm just going to put this right try to put it really directly into my crease and I'm just using a regular eyeshadow brush a lot of times y'all I don't use brushes what they're really made for I just use whatever works on my eyelids because my crease is more defined than ever now which I thank God because you would think after having a cyst in your eyelid and both eyelids it would be at its worst but honestly I can see my crease better now and not saying that I should have went through the trauma no I shouldn't have but I'm just making a point like I can really see my crease now uh, than I did before and that that may seem strange but it's true so I'm just adding this orange shade right into my crease you guys and I'm going to do the other eye then I'll come back and in fact you guys I'll probably go ahead and actually map out my crease with my LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer in Ivory um, I have that shade right here um, it's this one here, so I'll probably map out my crease with this. Uh, so it's time for the shimmer part. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I don't know. Y'all know what it is. This. These are so pretty. I'm going to add some of this onto my lid. As you can tell, I did use some of that orange shade on my bottom lash line. I know it looks a little crazy, but it'll come together with some eyeliner and some lashes. So this is the first time I used this particular color, so I'm not sure if I chose the right color. Yes, I did. Okay. So I'm just going to put some on, and y'all, I'm going to blend it out. Uh, with my eyeshadow brush, I do that. I just don't use the applicator. I do put a little bit on there and then I just blend it out with an eyeshadow brush. Because that way I don't contaminate my eyeshadow. Um, just don't want to do that. And this is how it's looking, you guys. I've been into this, so if you're not into like this sort of look then okay but this works for my eyes and what I have experienced and so I like it so I'm gonna do this eye over here you guys and we'll come I'll come back with now you guys I'm gonna go in with this pink shade from the pro palette here and I'm gonna add just a little pink in the corners of this eyeshadow look here beside this shimmer shade I just think it look cute blend it with the shimmer and also with the orange shade 
I don't know you guys I'm just I'm gonna add a little red so I can deepen it up a little bit this red shade is gonna deepen up the pink see there so it's a little bit more bolder and brighter whatever you want to say bolder brighter whatever <laughs> okay. um I want to do that I just think that looks good on my eye shape now since everything has happened to my eyes everything I experienced this is just something that I do as a part of my eye routine I don't always do it but it's I just think my eyes look better with something over in the corner now just because I do have a little saggy skin there from the cyst that was in my eyes okay that was in my eyes I should say and so this right here is just really just sort of covers up some of this loose skin and I'm about y'all I will be having surgery to correct this because what happened to me it was very trauma it was trauma okay and um, I'm gonna fix that all this with this saggy skin on my eyes it's not real bad it could be worse I'm glad it's not as bad as it could could be um, but I'm definitely gonna fix what's what I see that can be fixed and because it was a medical trauma type of thing I can definitely get this fixed where my eyelids are back tight like they were before the um, trauma occurred okay so I'm gonna take my brush here and I'm just gonna clean up that little shade there that pink shade on on the corner sides of my eye just neaten it up that's one thing that's good about translucent powder you can easily fix up eyeshadow so easily now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into this orange shade uh, again okay you guys and I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, into my crease and then I'm thinking about adding maybe a little red as well like I did in the corner side if not this red then I will go in with maybe um just the pink but i'm gonna do something just amp this look up just a little more okay and you'll see it when i get done with it so i'm just gonna add just a little bit more go up a little bit higher with this orange shade you guys so now it's time for the uh blush and the highlight you guys and then the lips however i do the lips off camera and I'll just tell you what I use and I gotta fix my hair okay so this is the eyes okay this this side wants to peep up on me a little bit or it just don't want to glue down because I actually use my tweezers to um, I use the ELF like lash thing and it kind of pulled that up and I don't want to put no additional glue on there but I might do that you guys here in a minute because it kind of looks funny a little bit you probably can tell that I'm not promising but I might do that but anyway let's get to the blush right now and I can fix that off camera but the blush I'm going to use come from this palette called color central cheeky face palette I love this because look at the tones they're perfect for autumn like they're really nice warm tones there's some bronzers blushes and highlight so I just love this palette I'm glad I come across this palette but in this look I think I'm going to use this shade here maybe a little bronzer too with this shade there I mix my bronzers or and blushes up that's just how I like it and I need to get a clean brush I'm cleaning like I'm using new brushes today so because I have to wash brushes later so I'm going to grab some of these and this is just the Kabuki brush from um, Echo Tools I still have my Echo Tool brushes yes I like that's just how much I like them so I'm going to add some of this onto my cheeks and one thing about me is I'm not afraid to use 
you know, like blushes. Some of you might be afraid to use them and put them on. However, these colors are sort of like very soft colors so it's not going to show real bold as I normally like but I'm not afraid of blush and really intense makeup okay as long as it's put on right it is gorgeous so to each its own okay so just saying because somebody throw the video at me and I was like I put on my makeup the way I want to. Um, it going on my face. So, just saying. I'm just using this stipple brush. I find that it blends out very nicely. The blush color really nicely. And yes, I'm going over and over and over and over. Same old, same old. Okay. All right, I think that's good enough right there. A little bit more. More is more. All right, now it's time for the highlights. Now for highlight, I'm going to use this brand called For You Beauty For You or whatever it looks like this, and it has a this amazing highlight right here that I want to use. I might mix the two here with a little bit of this bronzer shade. Yes, I love to mix up my highlighters. But first, I use the Hard Candy Just Glow Luminizing Stick. Um, I just actually use my finger in there and just dab it on so I can get the most intense highlighter. Sometimes I use this alone. As you can tell, it's going to be very soft. But you're going to see the little highlight there. Y'all see it. But I use this as a highlight base. Okay. That's what I've been using it for. However, on natural days, I use this like basically all over my cheeks or just right where I'm put, placing the uh, luminizing stick color right now, right on top of the cheeks. It just depends on my mood for the day, okay? Add a little bit on my nose because y'all know I still love to highlight my nose. That ain't changed yet. Okay, and a little bit right there. This is what I like. That's my base for my highlighter. So my highlighter is going to be beaming. So I take my highlighting brush, okay? And once again, I'm going to take this shade, that shade, and a little bit of this bronzing shade there. Okay, so let's get in there and scoop it on so it'll be very vibrant. And a lot of times I just dab it on. I find that it's like better if I dab it on instead of just going through there and just kind of sweeping it on like dabbing it on looks better in my opinion and I pull it all the way down yes I do everybody do it the way you want but this is just the way I do mine my bronzer looks okay yes I want it intense just like you see it that's what I like okay so makeup the most beautiful thing about makeup is there's really not no wrong or right way in my opinion like it's art whatever you see oh this side looks really good uh whatever you think about your bra your your makeup then it's unique it's your style okay no matter what people think other people think about it or what they may say about it uh, makeup is your own style you put it on the way you want to and then some people's gonna like it some people aren't but you know that's the fun part of art is that it's unique and some people's gonna feel it and some people aren't and that's just how it goes so I'm feeling this myself okay alright so you guys I've got that going 
got the lashes on now all I need to do is fix my hair and put on my lipstick and I'll tell y'all exactly what I use for lipstick okay everyone this is the finished look this is it I switched up my wig I have my butterscotch wig here I forget the name of it so if you notice that the color is different it's not the same as the one I've been wearing um, I'm about to get a new one that's coming in so this is the one that's in butterscotch it's so pretty out in the sunlight but honestly y'all it's gonna take me some time to get back used to um, like red like this color type butterscotch color um, I prefer just pure brown or either just blonde but I'm just saying if you notice the difference in the hair color that's what it is new hair wash my hair fix my natural hair and then I put on this wig here y'all will see the color better I don't like the front side it doesn't have a like I don't like the front side of it because I can't find the part and I thought I saw a part so I would just have to take my time and find it but anyways you guys this is what I came up with I like the look it's a lot of pinks like I can zoom y'all in actually let's see <laughs> Y'all yeah, yeah, want to be zoomed in just a little bit. But anyways, yeah, this is a look like I didn't put it on any setting spray. I just got done just finally trying to figure out how <laughs> to fix my hair and what to put on it. I didn't want to wear it down. I wanted it up. In a, in a certain way and I decided to just use my bow headband here but once again I went with this eye look of course y'all saw it and y'all may not have seen it in action but I told you everything that I used okay and this is the cheek color I would have preferred a little bit more pink a little bit more bolder pink because my eyes is a little bold but this would be the nicer softer version of what I really like to have like y'all know what I'm talking about like I want to amp this up and just get like really pink cheeks and I think I'm going to do that um but y'all saw the highlighter palette that I used look at this amazing highlighter um I love my bronzer it's quite natural um to me it is because I usually go for more bolder bronzers um, it seems like when I put on the blush palette or I went with the blush palette the color central blush palette is softened up my bronzer but that's okay as far as on my lips you guys I use the um, Revlon what is this 025 is the pearl kind and then I use my lip liner from Jordana it's the Kajal lip liner in bronze and then I used on top to give me this glossy lip I've been into the gloss lately I used the hard candy gloss topia ultimate lip shine on top for this beautiful shine so that is what I used on my lips but you guys I just want to just like intensify my blush so bad but I know some of y'all probably said no leave it alone and then some of you probably said yes yes intensify <laughs> I don't know which way to go I want a little bit more pink and I'm thinking about just doing a pink contour you guys why not let's do this let's try this I think I'm gonna put the pink like right down in here and try to like blend it out and have two of the like have this color going on but a little pink like contour color just thought about that why not let's 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 try to get both of them in one why not okay so I'm gonna try to take one of my blush palettes I think this one will work let's hope that this is pink enough I don't think this is as bold as my other blush palettes 
but this one is the uh, L'Oreal Unfollowable Paints blush here and there's a pink tone right there it's sort of coral like but I do think that this will be cute as a little contour so let's see I'm just gonna try it with one of my brushes over here I'm gonna try with this brush I haven't used this brush in years but I'm gonna put on a little bit of this pink blush on just right here I'm putting it on now because I want it to be vibrant and I'm just going to go right up in here with it and see if I can kind of give it yes yes that's what I want like intensify like a pink contour shade just right there like two toned just like that oh I love that I love that that is so pretty Okay, I need to do this more. Okay, so once again, right here where you would normally contour with the bronzer, just add your bold blush, whatever color blush you like. For me, I just felt like I didn't have enough of what I wanted with my eye makeup, so I decided to go in with the pink blush as my contour shade. And I absolutely love it. It looks so pretty. Now I'm going to intensify it on the door, on the back side of my cheeks like that. Just so it gives it a little bit more of a bolder you know, look. I'm really dramatic like that. Like that y'all. Y'all should know that by now. Like. Yeah that is gorgeous I like that now I'm loving the look just a little bit more I feel that like the other side got a little bit a little bit more if I could talk it's so pretty I'm concentrating on what I'm doing and I'm trying to talk to you guys but I think that's pretty even I feel like this one came through a little bit better. I feel like I blended it out a little better, but it's okay. As long as both sides matches. There we go. On that side, over here on this side. So I like that, you guys. I like that look. Y'all will see me do that now a good bit because I just thought about that. So, and my highlight is still showing, and even the other softer blush tones from the color central uh, cheeky palette is still showing but yeah I'm content now remember I used the L'Oreal Fallible um, paints here blush I don't know if they sell these anymore but I found some palettes okay in the store so and they're just as fresh as ever but anyways you guys this is the look coming up close and remember, I normally go back because of natural lighting. I feel like you can see, like, the true, the true, 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 like, yeah, 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 right there. Like, I don't even have to go that further back, but y'all, y'all get it. Like, this is it, okay? This is the look. absolutely in love with this look okay so I love my makeup it was well worth the time now I got to edit everything now I'm gonna pull y'all back just a little bit I'm learning how to do everything there we go now I just got to edit everything I hope y'all enjoy this makeup look I took my time out today to do this and I might be doing the ASO um try on haul I'm not sure you guys if not today then maybe tomorrow so yeah look forward to that try on haul okay y'all seen the haul but you haven't seen the try on haul so this is the makeup look I like it bold and so gorgeous my style with the butterscotch hair today okay it comes down to about right here you guys if you wonder how long it goes yeah 
about right there and yeah, you guys, so that's all I can say. Y'all know the makeup that I use. I know some of y'all probably want me to put that in the description box, but y'all heard and y'all saw every product that I use. So, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please come back for more beautiful makeup looks. More looks to come because I got several palettes back there that I haven't showed y'all. And one thing else I want to say real quick. I love the Makeup Revolution Hydrate and what is it? Conceal Foundation. Let me get it. I'm loving this one. Uh, the, yeah, Conceal Hydrate. I love this one better than the first one. This one has been my favorite foundation with the blend of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix. It's just so beautiful. I love the two together. However, this is an amazing foundation for right now because my skin has been dry. Just thought I would mention that. Like This is so inexpensive, but it is a favorite foundation. So I thought I'd put that in there just in case some of you might be looking for